Watch you guys got another video. Do you still need to buy an antivirus protection software? While built-in antivirus solutions like Windows Security offer basic protection, standalone antivirus software is still recommended for more robust defense against malware and online threats, especially for users who frequently download from unofficial sources or visit less secure websites. So a lot of it's going to come down to your searching habits and what you actually do on your computer, which will determine whether the basic Windows uh, security feature is going to suffice or whether you need something a little bit more robust if you are doing all of these uh, unsavory things on the Internet. So let's take a look at in more detail. So the built in antivirus program Operating systems like Windows 10 and Windows 11 come with this built-in Windows Security antivirus software. So Windows Security, which includes Microsoft's Defender, uh, these offer a baseline of protection against common threats like malware and other nasty stuff like viruses and things like that. It's not the most best at you know, stopping uh, say, for instance, ransomware, it can't protect you against that sort of stuff. But it does offer things like BitLocker encryption as well. And if you use all of these in conjunction together, it does make Windows a pretty secure operating system. That being said, depending on what you're like on your computer, Windows Defender just might not cut it for some people. And some people would just prefer to remove it from the computer altogether, which is something I wouldn't recommend. You can disable it or use it as a secondary scanner if you install another antivirus program. It will disable this by default. Now, there is some uh, app protection on here like smart app control and there's core isolation and a bunch of other stuff that does make your system a bit more secure. Some people complain that it actually impacts the system quite a bit. I've not seen this on a modern day computer, but on older computers, if you're running this on unsupported hardware, then it might impact the system a fair bit. Now, Windows Security does have quite a few uh, limitations because it is a basic antivirus program. It doesn't catch a lot of the ransomware. It doesn't catch a lot of the more sophisticated types of malware and adware out there. So it might not offer advanced features like phishing protection uh, across all your browsers or even comprehensive endpoint protection. So I would advise you to get a standalone antivirus program if you are in the high risk category. If you frequently download files from unofficial websites, visit less secure sites or deal with sensitive data online, then a dedicated antivirus program is probably going to serve you better and give you better extra security. So it also comes with additional features. Uh, many paid antivirus program software Suites will offer features beyond basic malware protection, such as VPNs, password managers, identity theft protection, and much more. Most of this stuff is not needed, but if you do need a full package suite like that, then obviously going down the paid route might be something that is more useful to you. And sometimes even if you're not a high risk user, a good antivirus program can offer peace of mind and protection. Uh, to ensure that your system and data are protected. So ransomware is pretty rife right now on the internet. And if you are surfing the web and you click on a malicious link or download something that is a ransomware protection, a lot of these modern antivirus programs will protect you against those. So when it comes to free versus paid antivirus, free antivirus software can offer a good level of protection, but paid versions often come with more features and potentially better uh, security and performance. Also, they have better firewalls than what Windows offers. So I would definitely look at the paid versions of antivirus if you want a more secure system. Now, there's also going to be those people that insist that you don't need an antivirus program at all, including Windows Defender. They will just remove it and have no antivirus program, no protection whatsoever. And if you go on the internet and start surfing around, it won't take you long before your system would become infected. Regardless of how smart you think you are, everyone, including myself, sometimes messes up and we click on things that we shouldn't. And unfortunately, this is how the system can be breached and infected. So which antivirus is for you? Well, 
let's take a look at Avast. The problem I have with software like this or antivirus software like this is because it becomes bloated. There's lots of stuff installed on here that you don't need and you probably will never use, like stop webcam spying and things like that, potentially shred uh, sensitive files. You can download these applications separately if you need them. You don't need to pay extra for things that you're never going to need, like VPN services. There's plenty of VPN services out there that are very cheap and it will probably cut down on the cost. But if you want it all under one hood, then something like these bloated AVs that you see nowadays are out there everywhere. That's why I prefer to use more lighter, uh, less bloated versions like ESET. It comes with a good firewall that you can configure yourself and there's lots of security features on there. There's less bloat on ESET than there is on antivirus programs like Avast. Another market leader is Bitdefender, but I've noticed in the past even this is becoming a little bit bloated with lots of features that you're probably never going to use, let's face it. I mean, there's password managers on here. There's other password managers out there that are way better than what they're offering and you've also got unlimited vpn traffic here as well how good that vpn is i really don't know i don't know who the vpn company is or whether it's run by uh, bitdefender i've not looked into it that much but again choose your options and uh, go with them there's plenty of them out there anyway that is going to be about it for this video my name is ben brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below I'll catch you in the next video. I just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.